He looks like an overgrown like rat with horns. Oh, he looks he doesn't look too bad though. He's carrying barrels, what a beast. Uh, answers marked with arrows carry the story for, but there's now a chance. Would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. Hello, sir. What brings you here, my sir? Who am I? Finn de Lires, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... Have an accent? There we go. <laughs> Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. W wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're... You're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? Huh. I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the downhouse. Riverville, okay. It'll lead you to a village called uh, Riverville. Ah, here, take this. Strange horizons. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, well, whatever. Knowledge points? What do knowledge points do? What about my eyes? Hmm, there's something... Mm. Peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with As us. As a priest? So oh, I don't you, tell me I have a disease. I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. No. Who knows? Maybe you caught something in that temple. I wouldn't doubt it. Knowledge. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay, so this gives me like lore. Can you tell me more about this region? Well. What can I tell you? Sun Coast. This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area. Except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut-eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. Ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. Okay. You said you were apothecarius by, by my path. What do you mean by, by my path? <laughs> by the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it's just me path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. Okay. Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our place. I walk the path of the Eridites. And there's also the manufacturers, the sublimes. Okay. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession. But certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer. Which is, however, below does not mean Everyone that it Enderal is in any way inferior. Best. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And okay. who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? Maybe, but if I look at other countries, even within the civilized world, it's hard to find a people as peaceful as ours. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Hey, can I tell you this? Places, Finn, I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. Hmm? By Whoa. the righteous path. 
What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Grunt root? Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Stung oh, by the so fire. Now we're brewing potions for complete strangers. Well, if strangers are about to die of fever, <laughs> yes. There was that oath we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Whatever. Thank you. I got a fever. Grunt root. Grunt root. Grunt root. Stone's prescription is go. not cowbell. Grunt root. Thank you, sir. Oh, he's he's uh, he's he's crafting. So let's see. Sheer cup. Some water. Ha! Done. I can't make any promises, Shit. but. Finn, the still. Whoa! What the hell? Whoa! Sod it! Do I really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. What the hell is that? I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah, and you're paying for. Holy shit. Here I thought this bloody day couldn't get any worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. See, you already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. One place has just happened. That's what I'm oh, saying. You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, eh, whatever will be, will be. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure I follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleris. Died in 8234. Cause of death, exploding still. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You're fucked. I really oh, we're all those potions. What talking about. Maybe... Wait a second. What was that? Someone's gonna die here. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh shit! Uh, oh! Carbos! They've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. Rip Carbos. No. I do something, damn it. Oh. Holy shit. I think that thing was rigged. Oh my god. What the fuck? Now would you look at that? Our mysterious survivor has awoken. Speak with Jasper. What the fuck is happening? Jasper Matumiel Delveric. Jasper for short. And you, my friend, are in my very own campsite. And before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into a thicket. Luckily enough, most of your injuries are only superficial. How do I know you didn't kill him? Taken care of them. Your fever, though, is an entirely different story. Suffice it to say, I was on the perimeter. And no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered like crazy. And two, I'm in a happy relationship with my entrails. I wish I had a more heroic answer for you, but I don't. Sorry. Yep, quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from first-degree arcanist's fever. I'm quite surprised that the old apothecarius didn't see that, to be honest. You're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? And you're feeling unusually strong and dizzy at the same time? While drinking herbal potions leaves a, well, kind of a, a bitter feeling in your head. If only I was a witcher, I'd be immune. <laughs> uh, let's see, it does, it does, yes. Then this Arc Arcanist Fever is responsible for these? Things I can suddenly do, the magic? Yep. Your magical talent has broken free inside you. 
I don't have any myself, but I've worked together with enough arcanists to know the signs. Simply put, what's happening is that your body can't cope with the magic. This isn't much of a problem at first, but if you don't do anything about it within the next couple of months, you'll find yourself running through the heartland naked, throwing fireballs at everything that moves. You'll lose your mind, to speak plain and all. And all? Yes, of course. Though someone who's magically gifted will always react differently to certain situations than someone who isn't. As I said, some herbs will always worsen your fever, as will magically contaminated areas. Among other things, yes. Just as being magically gifted can make a person powerful, it can also make them sensitive and prone to certain conditions. Just don't overdo it sleeping in ruins or in the wilderness. Instead, set up a camp somewhere. Plus, as you've already said yourself, don't overdo it with potions. I like how they added the little arrows next to the dialogue. So you know what's going to advance the conversation. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's see. What happens if I do these things exactly as the fever affect me exactly? How can I show you with this grunt extra? What? No. That won't help you in the long run. Ambrosia. This is ambrosia. A special mixture of herbs that can remedy the fever without any side effects. Okay. Every good alchemist has that in stock, but it'll cost you. I like the fact that they made magic have a kind of like a, a penalty to it. So does that mean if I, well, if I take any potions, really. But magic in general seems to be, like, you have, you can get Ar Arcanist fever. That's pretty nuts. Visions? Are you sure? The Andralian spider plague is known to cause visions in the infected. And if that's what you got in that old temple, you should start digging your grave. Because your body parts will start falling off in a few hours if you don't do something about it. That's not good. <laughs> no, nowhere. Because that plague doesn't exist. <laughs> what? I have no idea what kind of visions you're talking about. Since the only visions I know of are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Hey. But your reaction the shows ganja. that you're trying to keep something from me. And that's not a good idea if you want my help. Hmm. You know what? Someone has to take care of your fever. And as it happens, I know someone who could. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. How did you get here? And what did you do in that temple? And what exactly did you see in those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you. And that makes me curious. So, healing for information. What do you say? Sure. Then shoot. I'm eager to listen. I like his custom armor. That looks so cool. Hmm, I understand. My condolences for your loss. So that means you somehow survived this execution. And before you got washed ashore, you had this, what, this dream? In which you saw burnt bodies and a blinding light. It wasn't just a dream, it was more like a memory. The temple I saw in was exactly the same one I saw in the valley. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I hope so. Hmm. So your magical outburst didn't happen slowly as it usually does, but all of a sudden after this near-death experience, and with it came these visions. Interesting. I guess you know how absurd all this must sound, but somehow I believe you. Heck knows why, but I do. So, that means I'll introduce you to my employer. If anyone can help you, it's him. There is, however, one thing with which I could use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can start our journey to Ark. And why are we going to Ark? Ark? The capital of this country? Okay. Walls high as towers of iron hard stone, rest alone in the mountains in granite enthroned, never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by the Lord, and blah 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 <laughs> blah, and so on and so forth. <laughs> plan on staying in this land, sooner or later you'll see it with your own eyes. Okay. Got a knowledge. Well, aren't you curious? I like that. I work for the Holy Order. Okay. Yes, but as you might know, this is the realm of Malthus, the guardian of the Lightborn. And here, the Order basically reigns for him. It's both the spiritual and judicial center of this country, so believe me, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Splendid. There are some things that need some explanation before we can get started, however. Where should I start? 
I take it you've noticed that in the past two and a half years, this world has fallen into political chaos, right? Civil wars, usurpers everywhere, you name it. And even though Enderol isn't directly affected by these wars going on everywhere, there are strange things happening here too. Take the Woods Ears, for example. There have been an unusual number of reports of wanderers being attacked by them in the open, which has never happened before. And the same goes for the Lost Ones, the, the Living Dead. Until two years ago, they were a rather rare magical phenomenon. But now every other corpse not properly cremated starts walking again as if it were the most natural thing to do. The strangest thing, however, is what they call the Red Madness. Red Madness? Do you think this chaos could be in any way related to the rumors about the Lightborn's deaths? Everyone near him talks about them. Yeah, the rumors. Hmm. I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true. And that there's a connection, yes. As I said, maybe. If you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than false gods anyway. Well, they usually leave the thinking to their holy order. And they, of course, deny everything. Even to talk about it as we're doing is considered a crime. But as much as I hate to say it, maybe it's better this way. At least for now. A spiritual crisis is the last thing this country needs at the moment. <laughs> Please, don't take me as an example. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And this whole false deity theory isn't that new, after all. And seriously, let's say the Lightborn really are as mighty and omnipresent as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to magically smite me here and now for my insolence? The Lightborn were just powerful kings. No more, no less. But that's just how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. <laughs> Still waiting for the smiting. <laughs> I think we'll get along just fine. But we're digressing. Yeah. It's some kind of mental illness that makes people lose their minds. Just a couple of weeks ago, for instance. Slaughtered his entire family. Holy Ark shit. Who slaughtered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the light while he was doing it. Or a young noblewoman who killed herself by setting her family estate on fire for no apparent reason. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now there have been more than a dozen of them. That and the fact that the possessed's eyes glow red shortly before and during their deed has made people call it the Red Madness. <sighs> and just three days ago it happened again. Only this time it was a magister from within the Holy Order itself. Right, you're not from here. A magister is a kind of sage from the... I know what a magister is. <laughs> he killed 15 novices and himself. According to the only eyewitness to survive, he entered the teaching room as usual to give a lecture on alchemy. But instead, he gave a strange speech in which he explained that humanity is corrupt, void, as he put it. Holy his eyes shit. started glowing, he locked the door, and, well, he tore himself apart with a magical explosion. You can imagine the kind of uproar that caused. <laughs> well, I'm not exactly one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. I guess you could say my specialty is recovering things that have been lost. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the so like. He's a repo man. And the order hired me to do exactly that. They want to know how a highly intelligent somewhere like in alternate universe. The Red Madness. There's a GTA also, version of this game. pattern to how this malady <laughs> or whatever it is chooses its victims. True, but that's irrelevant. Yarrow grew up in a small village named Riverville, which isn't far from here. And according to some of the other wardens, he visited this area quite often after his partner's death. So it's quite possible we could find some clues around here. Shards of his past, if you like. I've already searched most of the area, but a second pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. What do you think? Well, for starters, I needed to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred. He was a childhood friend of Yarrow's, and he might be able to tell us something worthwhile. Secondly, a boy from the village told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the water near a cliff to the east. Go there and see if you can find whatever it was he wanted to get rid of. I, myself, will have a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Here, this is a map of the region. The blue dot over here is Yarrow's old house. Uh, and at the risk of sounding heartless, you should head back to the apothecary's camp. Maybe the bandits left behind some equipment. If there's nothing else, I'd say off we go. Let's shed some light on this Yarrow and his motivations. Meet me at his old house when you're ready. I'll be waiting there. Yeah.
If a quest objective is marked by one or more stars, they indicate the difficulty of that quest. At the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Okay. Um, they indicate the difficulty of that quest. At the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Okay. Uh, okay. Huh? Talk with Yarrow's childhood friend. So I guess I'm, I'm, it's not that hard. Because, right, okay. Uh, I didn't complete this. I didn't get, I didn't collect the fungi. I don't know what they look like. Find the strong box. What's this one? Gather knowledge about Enderol. The dialogues mark with knowledge or giving you knowledge points. Okay. Huh? Cool. The Butcher of Ark? Oh, is that a quest? I found a volume of the so-called Butcher of Ark on my travels. Seems to be auto an autobiography of the serial killer Gile Tanderson. I should keep my eyes open for the other volumes. Oh, that's cool. Follow the fire. Damn, they put a whole, they wrote a book. Jesus. Should I take this? Oh my god. These devs put so much work into this game. It's unreal. Okay. Work. Okay. So I want to go this way? Where's the, um... That place where those guys died. <laughs> yes, you cannot sing. Where those guys die? I don't think they died over here. I don't even know where I am. Does it show the uh, resting place? Oops. I think it's the other way. Let's go the other way. God, it looks so cool. Oh my god. Oh, is that a, a ice claw? Yeah. Alright, let's make our way to Riverville. It's a town over here. Yeah, actually, I don't know where they died. Stained mushroom. Oh, this looks so cool. Well, judging by the map, they somehow died by the resting place. Wow. Old damn lookout discovered. Ah, okay, this is where he died. Wow, this looks a lot different. Hello. 